because that's not fair. I didn't know you were going to be here. Okay. You know? ah. I didn't make anything for you. <laughs> <laughs> and we're off to the races. We got Joe Sanchez over here playing that Primal Groudon deck that, honestly, I think most people kind of thought that deck was dead. And, and, you know, we got the old on the left, Jimmy Pendarvis on the right playing uh, this Zoro Toad control deck that's kind of come out of the woodworks here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, like I said, the Groudon deck, definitely something I thought was dead. Like, that's not a thing I expect to see at all. Um, <laughs> if anything was using beaches, I just thought it would be something like Gardevoir. Yep. Um, Zorak, definitely expected plenty of Zorak. Uh, not this version, though. Uh, reminds me a lot of Tord's deck from last season during the ICs and Worlds, um, but with some really important changes with the Seismitoad, which is really great. No, yeah, I completely agree with, you know, it does absolutely remind you of that, that tour deck that we saw pop out in s standard towards the end of last year. It's just adapted for the expanded format. You, you get things like Tuss Seismitoad. You've yeah. got all those fossils that help keep you from decking out forever and ever, mm -hmm. right? There's just so many different little things that it, that it got. It's, it's yeah. cool to see. Uh, Jimmy going first, but Joe has a really nice starter in Wobbuffet mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be able to uh, turn off any uh, Zoraks for turn two. You know, it's going to be hard, difficult for Jimmy to uh, get stuff going. Uh, we saw this matchup a uh, couple rounds ago. Uh, uh, yours truly <laughs> was on the, the stream for that. And uh, we kind of know how this plays out. You know, Joe looks to uh, build up Groudons, get a Mega Down as soon as possible, and then eventually just start sweeping. And um, it's up to Jimmy to create some kind of lock and get the mill done. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, J Jimmy's really going to be looking to... I mean, uh, honestly, it kind of seems like the the, sh the strategy against Groudon is almost just to deck them out, because it, it, it's it's kind of difficult to imagine Jimmy's deck actually being able to win on the prizes, right? Cause, right. You know, Joe. I mean, the, the Groudon once it's up and, and party, and it's just mm -hmm. Jimmy can't really knock it out. It, it can heal a bunch. You know, uh, Joe plays all of these tools to keep it from being one shot, or makes it even difficult to two and three shot. That, yeah. that you know, that they really it really seems like they have to s try to stick with you know, locking something in the active mm -hmm. and keeping it there long enough to yep. candy work a bunch. Yep. Good turn one for Jimmy. Uh, gets three zeros out. Got a Bridget turn one. Can't ask for a lot more. Takes a good look at his deck and passes it over. And we get to take a first look at what Joe's got going on. Uh, Lele expecting probably a Karina uh, here. Mm -hmm. um, card is just so good in this deck oh, and yeah. basically gives Joe uh, everything he needs. Yeah, I mean, you know, Groudon is such a slow deck that, I mean, you know, the Primal, as we see right here, it takes four energy to attack, right? So you have to attach one every single turn. It's not particularly fast, so it's just like, uh, I just need one thing every single turn until it's ready to party, right? And Absolutely. Yep, and it's on Jimmy to uh, probably hit some Flare Grunts, uh, not Flare Grunts, uh, some Team Skull Grunts. Mm hmm to uh, really slow down Joe. If he can if he can really prevent those energies from getting on to the ground on, that's one of Jimmy's best bets, I think. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, and, and, you know, like, this whole Zoro control deck, you know, it plays removal, it plays a lot of disruption supporters, but for for those of you watching that may not know, Primal Groudon is a pretty old card. It has Omega Barrier, which is, a, you know, it's a thing that people, uh, cards had a while ago that basically prevents it from being affected by just about any trainer card that could disrupt uh, normal Pokemon cards, right? Yeah, uh, and you also lose those trainers uh, when you use them. They, they just have simply no effect. So um, when there's a Primal Ground on the bench, uh, there's not much you can ever really do about it. Um, there's some new stuff that out um, since Primal Ground on Heyday to help you out with that. Stuff like Lycanroc GX to bring it up mm -hmm. uh, without needing a supporter. Um, but Lycanroc, not that popular at this tournament, and uh, Joe picked a really great deck and has had um, basically this matchup all day. Mm -hmm. uh, he gets, uh, I believe, is it an Assault Vest? It's a, it's a Hard Charm. Hard Charm, yep. yep. Uh, gets an Energy, a Hard Charm, a Beach out. Uh, <laughs> this is exactly what Joe's looking for. Yep, yep. So, you know, it, it's pretty interesting. You know, I, I really like to you know explore a history behind the, these players a little bit. I mean... Joe Sanchez, he, he's he's really always been kind of ride or die for this Primal Groudon deck. You know, mm -hmm. I honestly can't remember the last time I saw him at a tournament and he didn't have Groudon sleeved up. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I've, I've definitely seen Joe around before. I don't know him that well, but I, I do remember <laughs> when I saw him, he was playing Primal Groudon. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Jimmy gets one Zark out. He's got another Lele. Um, it's going to fill his bench. Uh, we'll see what supporter he gets. Maybe go for something like a Skullgrunt or something a little more disruptive. Mm -hmm. So something interesting that I noticed recently. So you mentioned, you know, Jimmy can't use, like, the Plumerias to disrupt the energy off of him right. when it's a Primal Groudon, right? So we were talking about how, oh, it's the Skullgrunt he needs to rely on. So Joe, when he careened, he actually got his Propheticer's Letter, but he only got one fighting. Yeah. So, I mean, Joe clearly has enough experience with this matchup where he knows that the only way they can get the energy away from him is Skullgrunt. So he's just like, eh, I'll keep it out of my hand. Absolutely. I'll draw into it and yeah. attach it. You know, I'm not trying to, like, let him know that I'm sitting on energy. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a really smart play. Uh, he did beach. You know, if you draw it off beach, you draw it off beach. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not going to not beach. Exactly. But exactly. really smart to keep that in the deck limit the effectiveness of uh, any potential skull grunt. Mm. Uh, Jimmy going with the Colrus here is going to draw a nice seven cards. A second Zorark. Uh, I don't believe he's even used trade yet. So he's going to have a couple of those. I imagine he's going to Definitely searching for a double colorless here at some point. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's got that seismic toad in the active. If he, if he can have that double colorless energy this early and just start quaking punching, I mean, you know, Primal Groudon, uh, just that Omega barrier, it makes it immune to so many things that, you know, it doesn't seem like it would be affected by item lock that much, but the Karina engine is pretty item focused. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Jimmy gets that parallel out, which I actually think is, like, so funny in this matchup because normally like one side affects one person mm -hmm. the other side affects the other person in a negative way but really that 10 less the 20 less damage that seismato does that just gives uh jimmy more time to uh mill and keep the item lock going mm -hmm. which is really nice oh absolutely and, and you know th that was something that i mean the first time i casted you know this deck I was like, oh, what are, you do? What, are, what are they doing? They keep putting it the wrong way. You're not doing enough damage. But after you watch them play this enough, you realize they're not usually trying to win by taking prizes. Yeah, exactly. They they want <laughs> they want to get as m as much of uh, their opponent's cards in the discard with not letting them play any items. Mm -hmm. uh, Joe doesn't do anything on his turn, just evolves to Primal Ground on passes. Still, that's progress. Yep. Once you get that Primal Ground on the board, you're feeling pretty good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, that's always the, you know, like, I I'm sure that something that Jimmy really would have liked to do early is, you know, maybe see a Guzma on turn two to bring it up yeah. and mm -hmm. start quaking punching it, right? That's always something that Groudon's scared of, so Joe's just like, I need to evolve it immediately. And Absolutely. Work, work it, you know? Yeah, Jimmy gets that third, third Zorark out. Um, got a few cards in his hand. Uh, I don't, yeah, he didn't get that DCE last turn, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. See if he can get one this turn. Yeah, I mean, he, he, that Wobbuffet really slowing him down. I mean, he's got yeah. three Zoraks in play. He wishes he could trade three exactly. times, but that Wobbuffet just staring him down, saying, mm -hmm. not today. Yeah, and with just four DCEs in the deck, you know, s without trades, sometimes it's hard to find, and I don't know if Jimmy found one here mm -hmm. either. Yeah, you could see it in Jimmy's hand, mm -hmm. that uh, the frustration <laughs> a little bit, like the way he yep. passed his turn. It's like, uh, sure, go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm. Man, I mean, you know... Played Jimmy in a few tournaments. I've seen that hand oh before. Oh, yeah. He's just like, uh, yeah, I guess. You know, I mean, he, he Sycamore's for seven. He's used to that Sycamore seven being 13 eventually. You oh, know, yeah. The extra mm -hmm. six. He's used to that hand being twice as big. And yep. that just shows the power of that Bide Barricade Absolutely. by Wobbuffet. Uh, Joe is going to do something this turn besides just Evolve. Going to Ultra Ball here. It looks like he's searching out that Regirock I th I as a potential target here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think normally, you know, in this position, they either get out the Reggie Rock because it's something they can kind of stall with a little bit or throw it in the active, or the second Groudon. It's always one of those two. Yeah. It looks mm -hmm. like he's getting the second Groudon. Mm hmm. Something interesting about this Groudon versus the one that it was evolved from is this one is weak to water. This is the Dark Explorer's Groudon. Right. It's, what, six years old? But it yeah. is weak to water, whereas mm -hmm. the one he evolved from is weak to grass. Yep. One of, one of each there. Mm hmm. So, I mean, you know, that's just another thing that this crowd on deck can do. You know, it's got a couple different weaknesses, can, you know, kind of hedge against stuff here and there to, to help make sure that, you know, it's not always getting bopped. Yeah. Uh, looks like Joe's going to play an N here. Mm -hmm. uh, probably definitely looking for an energy card this time. Wow. So, uh, I, I did not commentate when Joe was uh, playing last time. This is the first time I'm taking a look at his list, and... That holy one ofs, Batman. Yeah, there's a lot of one ofs. <laughs> uh, a lot of good ones, you know. They each have their their important purpose. Uh, 
you have a nice split here of escape rope and switch, you know? And you can pull this off, you can do this. It's because of the uh, the Karina, you know? You can get this this crazy beast ring plays yep. on, uh, onto like a buzz wall, you know? You can get... But it's it's like all these one ofs, counter catcher, enhanced hammer. You're playing four Karina, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. you're, you're and four VS seeker. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. These one ofs, uh, usually hard to search out. Mm -hmm. Not with this. Not this deck. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And and you know, Groudon was one of the decks that was affected by the recent bans coming into the expanded format. You know, previously Groudon really really loved playing Puzzle of Time. Phenomenal card for the deck. It was a great way to get back. Absolutely. Item, you know, all of these one ofs, right? They played this many one ofs before, but then had a puzzle to reuse any yeah. of them, which mm -hmm. is so cool, right? Um, and, and it could get speeches back, but now that it doesn't have those, it kind of, you got to be a little more careful with your one ofs. But yeah. it plays the double Lusamine to help it sort mm -hmm. of loop things like Center Lady, yep. uh, Lysander, what have you. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Joe did get an energy card attached to that uh, Primal Ground that he has, uh, and then beached for the rest. Mm -hmm. He did draw one energy, so. Uh, at, at least one. I know it was the psychic energy, so potential to get uh, Team Skull granted here. But looks like Jimmy's opting for that color. It's going to draw a really nice eight cards, oh. and he's still searching for that double colorless <laughs> energy. Somewhere in there, hopefully. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, oh. hopefully. I'd I'd love to see the prizes. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, where's your prize, Kim? We're working on it. Next time. <laughs> okay. Um, but but. Colrus, man, one of those supporters that going from the standard to the expanded format is just in just about every single deck. Absolutely, right? yep. Mm -hmm. He finally finds a double colorless. There we go. He's going to start getting some damage on the board. Mm -hmm. um, rough Seas, not as good as the Parallel City. Yep. But going to finally lock Joe out of uh, trainer cards. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, um, you know, it, Joe did have a couple of turns to get those trainer cards in play. I mean, a couple of more turns than Jimmy would have liked. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it is a bit unfortunate that he also doesn't have the Parallel City, so he can't just do 10 to the Wobba Fett. Right. You know, keep it up there for 11 turns mm -hmm. instead of four, you know. More uh, time is better. Yeah. Yep. More more time under lock. Oh, yeah. More more cards in the discard for Jimmy. But I mean, Joe Jimmy is, is uh, definitely just trucking along here. You know, just doing ground on basically things. getting one or two card a turn that he needs and mm -hmm. put I mean, it, putting himself forward at like the progress of him winning the game and uh, it's exactly how you know he has to do it and yeah. uh, Jimmy's been struggling, <laughs> which is not what you want to do in such a probably not very good matchup anyways. Right, right, right. So let's see what Joe opts for. He he has already attached for the turn. Um, maybe looking for the another primal mm -hmm. to get that one evolved, just make it, uh, you know, his board a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, I mean, y we see that he did uh, get out the second ground on EX, so that, yeah. that, that that at least makes us think that he's got the second one in the deck. For sure. He just wants to get it out, get them both evolved quickly. Mm -hmm. um, Jimmy with that Gladian a card we don't see very often. No, a um, few times today. Uh, so, um, last time in this matchup, saw one. Uh, definitely something for this Zorak deck to be playing. Um, something like Sableye would play it as well, but mm -hmm. uh, not a very popular card in, in Expanded. Uh, like I said last time, uh, I prefer my supporters do a little more action. Mm -hmm. um, but Jimmy is going to go ahead and just Quaking Punch after that Gladian gets uh, something probably important at the prizes. Yeah, yeah, and, and I guess um, that Gladian really helps kind of... Hi, hi, tell us what Jimmy's intention with this deck is, right? He's he's playing the Gladian to get, like, like you said, you like your supporters to have a little more impact. Yeah. Um, and you, so most decks don't play it because you're taking prizes. So if you draw it like mid game or three prizes, it's not as good. But right. as we mentioned, this deck, it's just looking to mill. So it, if it's not really taking any prizes, it, it sometimes it just needs to get that one thing out to to keep the ball rolling. Absolutely. Jimmy flipping, looking to mill here. Um, <laughs> Joe had a nice. Man, <laughs> this is a struggle. Fifth time's a charm, right? Uh, Joe had a nice... Uh, that second yeah. primal hitting the discard. Mm -hmm. uh, Joe had some items in his hand would have let him take a knockout last turn, but under that Quaking Punch, uh, now that Wobbuffet goes up to 90. Mm -hmm. So next turn, that's going to uh, go away. And then Joe will have his opportunity to start rolling. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And, and, you know, actually, looking here at Joe's list, he doesn't have any recovery to get that primal back, so it's gone. Yep. You know? mm -hmm. Joe now knows that the one he's got, 
That's what he's got. Yeah. Uh, that's a potential opening for Jimmy. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I could see potentially a Guzma bring it up and then keep the lock going, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah. The Groudon is a phenomenal. I mean, look, 240 HP. It's it's yeah. just does a bazillion damage. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's gonna one shot the Zoroarks without a stadium. It's gonna take the Toads down with stadiums in play. Absolutely. But you know, it just doesn't really. Um, you know, y usually you like to get that second one set up to to have something to roll back into because you know, sometimes it just can't do all six by itself. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and like you said though, important thing, this one is the one week to water. Mm -hmm. So Jimmy will have less time if he starts uh, less turns, rather, to uh, go ahead and keep the lock going because of that extra damage. Yep, yep. Um, but Jimmy's going to go ahead and get rid of some cards here with Battle Compressor um, and probably maybe take a first knockout here. Maybe Guzma's mm -hmm. something up. Let's see what he does. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and at this point, he's got a lot of options. Right, he really does. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, Jimmy's got to be feeling, I mean, this is a not a good matchup, but as far as like yeah, being how able to handle it goes. It's going all right for him. Yeah, yeah. It, having a rough start earlier with the no DCE mm -hmm. from many turns. Mm -hmm. But um, not bad. You know, got a bunch of Zoraks out now. He could finally start trading, getting those specific cards he needs. Uh, that's going to be pretty big for him. Uh, Joe is going to take two prize cards here on the Toad, though, mm -hmm. which is pretty nice. So something interesting ab about Joe's list is, uh, I mean, you know, Primal Groudon decks that we've seen before, are kind of, you know, they'll place like a 3-3, three, three, right? And they focus on mm -hmm. getting two Primal Groudon set up, like four energy on both, and get yeah. rolling back and forth between those two, and that's kind of how they want to win the game. But Joe, he's opting for some other fighting Pokemon to, to help close that gap instead of guaranteed relying on trying to set up two big full Primal right. Groudons. Right, yeah. Know? And we talked, uh, we talked about that B string. Oh, yeah. You know, that's mm -hmm. like, if this Primal Ground does go down, he's got a backup plan. Yes, it's not bad it's either. It's not. Def I mean, that's, that's, just, that's the power of Karina. He can't just play the one B string and the one Buzzle. He can get both of them, both mm -hmm. of those cards with Karina. Absolutely. <laughs> so, so uh, Joe takes his first two on that Seismitoad. Just comes up, takes it down. I mean, that Primal Ground on untouched, hard charm. One shots to Toad, takes two prizes. Oh, yeah. And Jimmy's just looking to see how he can get this thing down. I mean. Absolutely what Joe is looking for. Um, now let's see. Like, J it's Jimmy's turn now. He's to basically make Joe have a hard time here. Mm. And we'll Wait. see what he opts to go for. He's got a lot of options. This Zark deck has a ton of options. And he looks like he's going to search mm -hmm. with Ultra Ball. Yep, 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 yep. It was a little confusing because yeah, it was Pumaria, under the Pumaria. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. And Joe had the the egg in his <laughs> hand. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I mean, it, if you're Jimmy, like, wh what is your game plan to take down this crowd? Like, you you know that you're not going to you're not gonna one-shot it, right? Like, but it, even the, the DCE here, that's going to do, what, 20, 40, what, 120, um, 100 because of the yeah. hard charm. Like, mm -hmm. How are you planning on, on two-shotting that even? I mean... Right. I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> looks like he's going with the Lele here. Mm -hmm. uh, so, because he's attached this turn. So he yep. won't be able to Seismitoad. He's not going to go with a Guzma or anything. He's mm -hmm. just going to put Joe to four and hit the Groudon. You know, maybe he's going to go for... To knock out this Groudon. And then N at the same time, like, later in the game. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I still don't think that leads him to winning on prizes, but... Obviously, when you get those energies off the board, though, you can start that lock up yep, again. Yep, yep. Yeah, um, exactly. So, uh, Jimmy did use an enhance hammer on the Groudon. Uh, wanted to just get it out of his deck for the end. Mm -hmm. And going to draw those extra six cards now. So a good old end for 12. <laughs> it's pretty good stuff. Seems all right. And yeah. we'll get an energy drive here for a good old 80 damage. 100, because it's a hard charm. for six between the two. That's right. Yep. Yep. Uh, but I mean, it, it's, it's uh, that's that's not even half of the thing's HP, you know. Yeah. What a what a what a beast! And, and so, and I don't know. <laughs> Jimmy <laughs> promotes like attaches another double colorless to the other Lele. I mean, he does have two with two DCEs on. Um, oh, this is gonna be good. I bet he's gonna get that enhanced. Yeah, hammer. I was gonna say if you're Joe, that that's the, uh, if you've got the stadium, you're looking for the enhanced hammer, just mm -hmm. really trying to ruin Jimmy's day. <laughs> yeah. So we see the Red Rock. Oh, we see scramble the scramble switch. switch okay. You know, really, that's a really interesting play. Looks like uh, 
maybe gonna go for that buzz wall and then take the knockout on Lele, mm -hmm. putting him at two, and then he has a big buzz wall in play. Which, I mean, uh, I don't know how Jimmy even deals with that buzz wall. It doesn't play the Mew EX. Yep. And, and, and I mean, there is a strong on the Ooh. on the ground on so he gets to keep the fighting fighting strong, and he can actually just use absorption for the knockout here. The oh Wish yeah. Baton is on that buzz wall. Mm -hmm. so that wishful baton is huge. Oh yeah. I mean, so, so even if he goes to get the the knockout, if he can't take that wishful baton away, that crowd, that energy is going right back to that ground. Yep. On. So Jimmy needs. Basically, a lot to respond oh, to what's going on here. Mm -hmm. um, man, the lock seems like so far <laughs> from a possibility at right. this point. Uh, and Joe goes down to two, threatening game next turn. Clockwork, just making it look easy. Yeah. You, know? it, you can, I mean, he's probably what played this matchup. I think he's played it three or four times in a row at this point. Like, I think he played it rounds 13, 14, played it in top eight here at top four. Yeah. He's like. I He's like, I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I like. Yep, yep, exactly. And I mean, honestly, the, this Toad Zora deck, I mean, it struggles really hard against this, but I do think that there was one variant in top eight that had a chance, but unfortunately, that was Isaiah Williams, who we saw get taken down on stream last round. Yep. You know, having that Articuno GX being able to yank all that energy off of one of these is probably Absolutely. the only way that it can really oh, yeah. you know, disrupt mm -hmm. them. So, we'll see what Jimmy's up to. This turn is going to draw some cards with trade. Mm -hmm. um. I mean, uh, honestly, looking at Jimmy's, uh, <laughs> looking at his deck here, that Buzzwall, uh, I mean, Knuckle Impact does 160. It's doing 180 with that strong. What does Jimmy have that doesn't get knocked out by Knuckle Impact? I have no idea. I guess the Enhanced Hammer's yeah, helpful, right? Th yep, yeah, yeah, that's going to take at least one energy off of that and uh, off of that. Mm -hmm. Buzz wall. Uh, maybe Jimmy goes for an end here and uh, with the quaking punch, make it hard, you know, make Joe have to draw something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, you know, I, I can see that. And, and I was kind of hoping Ooh, that Jimmy could okay. also have the Plumeria or something, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe yank two energy off of the yeah. ones. So no end, but here comes the Guzma. Mm -hmm. Just like we were talking about earlier, this is the one that's weak to water. So, so Jimmy's going to stick this active for a little bit, and, I mean, he's likely going to get two prizes off of it. Unless, of course, Joe is just sitting on Kuzma fighting energy, right? Absolutely. Which is very possible. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Steven's Resolve. All right. I, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good card in the stack. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Joe, uh, last time he played this, just got a Lysander and a Guzma, and looks like he's <laughs> going for that again. You know... That's that's what you want to get. <laughs> Seems good, yeah. I mean, he's just looking. And he's like, well, I I really only need like two cards to win, but well, what's the third one going to be? Yeah. Just, like, you know, what's that third card that, you know, what can Jimmy do that might disrupt me mm -hmm. even a little bit? And what's the third card that stops that? Right. Absolutely. So, man, oh man, oh man, Jimmy. Uh, you know, I mean, at least he's he's looking at probably two two prizes off of this. Right. Um, you know. Mm -hmm. And, and you can imagine him being able to, ma you know, take out that uh, maybe the Reggie Rock. There is a Lele on the bench. You know, I mean, there are things for him to get. But Absolutely. It's 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 gonna take a while. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know, Joe Joe didn't even didn't put the the second Wobbuffet down. So Jimmy, that odd prize is, I mean, it's not gonna matter unless Joe throws that Reggie Rock in the active. Yeah. Uh, Joe's gonna finish his search here. Um. Big, big Seismitoad up front. 220 HP. Yeah, okay. No way to get rid of that. Yeah. And Jimmy then, not even hesitating. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Get those out of your hand. I don't want it. So uh, now he's got trainer lock going. He's got something not very good active. And he's going to get the N to Joe down to two. Mm -hmm. So there is a window of opportunity for Jimmy. It's, this feels like it is it. Yep. I mean, honestly, like, that, you know, we, we, I said, I was like, oh, man. That puzzle is just going to knock everything out. But that Fighting Fury Belt keeps that toad alive. Mm -hmm. So, seeing the end hit the board here. Both of them shuffling up. I yep. mean, Joe just went from, you know, what, an eight card hand with, with easily game <laughs> to now just two cards yeah. and item lock. Mm -hmm. Hoping for the best. These are, uh, you know, we've been here before. End the low and basically pray. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think uh, something almost every Pokemon player is familiar <laughs> with. <laughs> Unless you, this is unless you're a first season, you've only played standard. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so. And Joe, once again, not showing us his cards. Come on, Joe, show me the cards. 
I want to see him. He likes to keep us guessing, you know, keep us on edge. He, yeah. He's been kind of doing this every time he's on stream, you know. Yeah. I don't know if it's on purpose or maybe it's just like a habit and he just not, doesn't think yeah, about yeah. it. But It's not something I do. I I don't know. I, I want to look at the cards and I'm going to start formulating my strategy right away. Mm. But. I mean, uh, I, I have heard this explanation from players before in that, like, you know, having a poker face is absolutely a part sure. of the game, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, some people are bad at it. Yeah. Bad at having a poker face, and they go, I'm really bad at a poker face. So if I don't look at the cards, I don't know if they are. That they can't sense. read me. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> so Joe put the Karina down, so, you know, he got something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actionable card. I'm um, going to go ahead and get an item and a Pokemon. Don't know what he would pull out Pokemon wise. Did discard that uh, Primal Groudon. Uh, Jimmy did, anyways. Oh, yeah, with the. So, with the like, might not have uh, much of a target here mm -hmm. for that. I mean, uh, honestly, he's item locked. There's not many fighting Pokemon in his deck, so he's probably. Yeah, gonna draw I, th that well I off think the he's end. out of fighting Pokemon, just so. We just deck. got the Enhanced Hammer. Unfortunately, cannot play that. <laughs> And uh, a bit of an update for everybody out there. It looks like Aaron Tarbell took down Archie's Blastoise in top four and is going to be moving on to the finals. Wow. That was fast, huh? That was fast. Yeah. Impressive. Mm -hmm. I mean... I guess you get the lockout mm -hmm. with Trev, and uh, you know then it's over. Yep. I, I mean, if Blastoise doesn't have a good yep, turn. Yep. And, and it, we talked about this a little bit earlier. I mean, after watching Zachary just... I mean... Throttle Shemansky. Uh, yeah. It just, I was thinking, man, Aaron's toasted. There's no chance. But Aaron, clearly, I mean, this guy's been playing Trevenant since it was printed. Yeah, he won the first regional Trevenant was legal. So Absolutely, yeah. If anyone's going to pull it off, it's going to be him. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, he was very confident going into the top four, he was, and he, he pulled was. it off. Yep. Uh, Jimmy here. Um, ooh, Pumeria going to get rid of the energy. Yep, yep. Yep. Slowly but surely, Joe's board is. Uh, whittling down. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the downside of that scramble switch play. You get those two prizes, you keep the train going, but gives gave Jimmy an opportunity. You know, that Buzzword GX, it doesn't have Omega Bear. <laughs> yeah. No, it does not. No, it does not. Oh, man, can you imagine if it did? <laughs> It'd be way too good. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, like, nervous just thinking about it, you know? Yeah. I'm getting a little, like, sweaty. It's like well, don't get any ideas, Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> pretend we did not say that. Yeah. All right, just a jet punch here, uh, 30 to each of those. Mm -hmm. um, you know, put some pressure on Jimmy. Can't let him just, you yep. know, all day long. Anyway. And there goes the Plumeria, another energy in the discard. Mm -hmm. um, at this point, Joe, that's like four three. energy in the discard, three or four. I think he's only attached the one strong this game. Yeah, so Let's see. when he draws energy, I'm sure he's going to be looking f to put those on those Groudon to finish this game mm -hmm, off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess so. Uh, I mean, th that Groudon is the out now, right? And he hasn't seen energy in so... Speak of the devil. Th there it is. There it is. Um, you know, I, I was getting pretty nervous for him. You know, he, he hadn't attached an energy since mm -hmm. he scramble switched, right? He'd only seen those four this whole yeah. game. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it's good that he, he's starting to get yep. something. If he keeps drawing those energy, that's... I mean, that's how he wins this yeah. game right now. Yes, it is. Yes, uh, it is. Jimmy's game plan, uh, just keep quaking punch and then... Uh, <laughs> Uh, take that last prize, probably on a Reggie Rock with a Guzma, you know, uh, right is beating. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But getting there, that's the uh, the tough part. He's got to take out this buzz wall and uh, make sure he doesn't get retaliated against. And we'll see a strategy here. He's looking to discard more from Joe's deck. I know he wants to hit some energy cards. One tails. Can't see the second one. Oh, it was a heads, so see what we get here. Versus Seeker and Switch. Okay, I mean, two item cards that Joe... C couldn't play those draw. anyways. Yeah, yeah, Joe's yeah. like, thanks. Yes, <laughs> Next card's the energy. Yes, it <laughs> is, right? <laughs> <laughs> Joe's hoping, at least. And maybe it is. Show us the card. Show Joe, me the card, just, Joe. Oh, he's hiding. Yeah. So, Joe, peeking, peeking at the discard, I mean... We we don't see what he drew, but you know he's making it seem like it. Whatever he did draw uh, gave him some ideas. You Absolutely, know, definitely some stuff he needed to look at. Yeah, mm -hmm. not a simple. Oh, I can't use any of these turn because um, of the uh, quaking punch. But we got a loose min going. Jimmy gonna definitely look for uh, more disruption. Get that second loose min. Maybe a skull grunt here. Uh, definitely wants to get the energies out of Joe's hand. 
Um, I guess Jimmy knows if there aren't any in his hand. Gonna try to discard more. I mean, another another big flips here. Just going for that. I mean, this is what he this is what we were yeah. talking about earlier. He needs a mm -hmm. now if this is stuck active. I mean, it's gonna take a few turns for for Jimmy to knock it out. But yeah, he's gonna be trying to play that team flare ground every turn or every other turn Absolutely. until it is taken out. Yep. I think we uh, saw Joe Jordan. Uh, what is it? Is that a loose me? Oh, it is the loose me. So he's gonna get a beach, put it in play. Maybe the second beach, throw it in hand. Oh, probably a supporter. No, yeah. yeah, that's definitely mm -hmm. it. <laughs> oh wow. Don't know how many cards Joe has in hand. If he used beach, maybe it wouldn't be that many <laughs> cards that he gets to draw. Mm -mm -mm. Um, either way, good chance Jimmy does something about that. So we see the Cynthia and a beach. Yep. Yep. That makes a lot of sense. Yes, it does. And does not play the beach, because uh, I think he has six or seven cards in his hand. Uh, either way, even if it was six, maybe he doesn't want to maybe doesn't want to waste the beach to draw one, knowing that Jimmy would get rid of it. He wants to save it for that Primal Groudon attack for the extra damage. Mm -hmm. uh, but he does have the Cynthia for next turn. Definitely looking for an energy off of that, but Jimmy says, nope, you're going back to two, buddy. So, Jimmy, dropping the, I mean, I guess the, the end is, is right. But yeah, he absolutely. Has to, he has no choice. Mm -hmm. like, that's, that's definitely what he has to do. So, that, Buzzwell is at, what, 120 now? So, yeah. Joe's got two turns yep. before it's knocked out, and he's got to push something else up, yep. right? And, yeah. and it, it, you got you to gotta think. The only thing that Joe can really push up after that knockout is is the primal crowd on right. you know and I mean it's got 140 HP left um, it's got the hard charm I don't think Jimmy can reach 160 with anything no maybe maybe the the Lele one two three four five six even that's only a hundred absolutely with the hard charm. so yep. um, you know even so when Joe pushes it Maybe up, another double colorless right 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 right, right. so so <laughs> when, when Joe when that gets knocked out, Joe pushes it up. So Joe's probably got a good three or four turns to draw another energy before. Yeah, and then uh, in, let's in see trouble. what we got off the end. I know there's there an energy it card. Is. He's almost an energy card away from winning this game mm -hmm. at this point. Um, and then up two cards in his hand. Looks like he can play. There's a tropical beach too. Oh, wow, what a hand! That's so the good. Tropical beach and the strong. Yeah, that's back to. Seven cards. Still not looking at Jimmy those. Jimmy has to end him again. Has to. Yeah. And, and, and he's not playing the end. Or if he has to play the end, he's definitely not playing a handiwork. You know? uh, absolutely. Alright. So, it's Jimmy Mullen his options here. Let's see what he goes for. Discarding an execute yeah. for the trade. Looks like three cards in Jimmy's deck. Something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he'll have access to everything. Oh, it's going for the handiwork. Not going to end. Yeah. Not going to play the end. Now Joe, <laughs> he's like, I can look at my hand now. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's a skull grunt. It's a skull grunt. I yeah. thought the handiwork. Oh, no, no. Yep. Looking for an energy for, to snipe from Joe's hand. And off the beach, he goes up to seven. Doesn't draw an energy, wow. which is He did draw a center lady, though. So he could, yeah. he could throw that primal Bad up for and Joe, just But it. also good for Joe, because yeah. then he can't get those energies discarded. <laughs> I mean, so... And so he gets to keep his full hand as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's... I guess I guess he, he has to take the knockout, right? Um, I Yeah, I don't know <laughs> what other option he would have. Nope. Uh, Jimmy's going down to one prize. You got a Joe, nail Joe here. has a full seven cards in his hand. Even has a healing card, which is really good. An energy card on this turn wins Joe the game. Yeah, he's thinking, of not sure which one to promote first, but like you said, I think Groudon's the, the clear answer here. I mean, I think it's the only one it, it can be, right? Yeah. I just, mm -hmm. It's hard for me to imagine a, a situation where it is actually anything else. Right. You know? it's and it, oh, I'm going to go with the oh. Lele. Interesting. I think Joe took a thought. Oh, let's see the card, Joe. What'd you get? <laughs> so sneaky. Oh, oh! He drew the energy! Oh! That's tough stuff. Oh, man. Wow. I mean, I, maybe it's because he has the center lady in his hand that he knew that he could make that thing last for a while with the quaking yeah. punches. Mm -hmm. he, I don't he, know. I, I like the center lady uh, I like, cause it's got a on, the, charm. on the it's active, charm. you know? Yeah. like. Man, I mean, 
Joe's got way more experience with this primal ground Absolutely. deck than we do. Yeah. You know, maybe he's just looking at it as like it's it's gonna give me. Hey, so he's much beat plenty time. of these already. Yeah. yeah so. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, Lucamine here. Get a couple supporters. Let's see what he grabs. Um, he is threatening, you know, the win now, which is pretty pretty awesome for him. Mm -hmm. uh, needs an energy card or something. That's all he needs. He really an energy needs. card to retreat or a Guzma. Yeah. Um, and we know that Guzma's in the deck. I mean, uh, he grabbed that with Stevens. Yep. He's got Float Stone, so you. you yeah. Know, Jimmy can't break the lock. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. There's is, there's too many things Joe has to get out of the active. We did see the switch discarded, but I believe there's that Float Stone left. Mm -hmm. uh, I also think that Escape Rope is left. Um, let's see what Jimmy does in this turn. Maybe looking to end here. Make a lot of sense. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Joe has a bunch of cards. Um, does have that tropical beach still though, so even if he got end low, would be able to draw more. Mm -hmm. uh, and it is a Lucimine, not an end. And in Lucimine. Oh, maybe Jimmy didn't have the end. Maybe it's, that's why he's got to yeah, get it. Yeah, I mean, he's had to do it a lot. Right, right, right. Um, so no, Lucimine for the Lucimine in the end. That's, I mean, that's giving Joe a whole nother turn to, to, to party. Uh-huh. So, hmm. Let's see, I mean, this is, this yeah. is a nail biter. I mean, this is a 75 is minute close. best of three, and we're almost ha we almost got halfway through the time. Absolutely. <laughs> this is wild. Mm -hmm. All right, so let, let's see. These games go long. <laughs> Joe has two strongs in that primal, yep. one fighting, one psychic. Yep. There were two fighting on that buzzwall, which is now knocked out. So that's three fighting gone, the psychic gone. Joe has one fighting left. Yep. Mm -hmm. One energy that he can put on that on that lele. I, I mean, I, we haven't seen the Guzma, so right. could draw that, but Joe's kind of just digging for that one single fighting energy yeah, now, right? Yeah, shows the card, Joe. <laughs> I mean, I, I suppose, I mean... Uh, it's not an energy. <laughs> he would have played it by Joe now. Joe actually doesn't play Professor Juniper. Nope, just uh, ends and right. Cynthia's. So, I mean, he, he's, he, he doesn't have that ability to just go... Yeah, dump I'll take my whole it. deck and... You know, win the game. I mean, honestly, if I were if I were a betting man, I would say that because the Lele's in the active, Jimmy probably has a better chance to nail that fighting off of a handiwork than oh, Joe does to draw it. Absolutely. I mean, I guess Jimmy can only play it every other turn because of the Lucimine. Right. But. Uh, uh, he did get an end back with that Lucimine too. Mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, scary for Joe. Uh, you know, like the possibility of being end down to one and putting all those cards back in his deck, which he isn't gonna like use. So I mean, Joe, just looking over the options. I mean, I wish I could. S I wish I could see everything in the hand that well. Yeah. Um, is that the? I, I don't. I mean, is that a center lady that they're? Oh, oh, oh! I feel like Joe has to center lady, right? Because Jimmy can just ace a roll up and knock something. I mean, does uh does Jimmy play choice band? Does that play choice band, right? Uh, looking no. at the list. Oh, it doesn't. It does. Nope. It. Ten damage short. No, no choice ban and no, um, no Kukui. There's no way for. Uh, oh well, well, you got the Acerola would, you know, you pick up the, the Fighting Fury Belt. Unfor but he, he can't put it on the um on on the Zwark. Oh yeah, that's right. Yep. <laughs> so 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 the the lady does have a DC, so it would do, what, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, because the, that doesn't have any energies. Mm -hmm. So, let's see what, what, I mean, so yeah, I guess Joe just heals it next turn, and that, that is that. Um, yeah, um, got rid of that Tropical Beach, which is I, pretty good for Jimmy, mm -hmm, but I, at this point, I think it comes down to maybe a Guzma draw. Yeah, I mean. So the beach won't save you, but. It helps. Get yeah. rid of it. Joe has has two outs in his deck, assuming that they're all there. You know, assuming yeah. none are in those last two prizes. And he's going to get exactly two cards to draw them. Mm -hmm. Jimmy, you know, really using his resources well there. He's mm -hmm. sitting on that blower, and he can go blower in. You know, not letting that beach stick in place so Joe can refresh his hand yeah. immediately, right? Kind of acknowledging that, that that is a great way for him to just get back in the game. Man, oh, man. Big N here, Absolutely. the biggest one. Yep, 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 yep. So, J Jimmy, y you can tell Jimmy's. I mean, both of these players just shaking. Yeah, really, really patient and game by Jimmy. Mm -hmm. You know, 
just kept it going Joe's despite despite how bad it looks or whatever at any point. Jimmy just keeps going and now he's got a real opportunity here. He's going to draw most of his deck back here. <laughs> I mean, that's just this deck, right? Uh, they, they always draw their whole the whole thing and then the, whatever Fossil they decided yeah. to play is just just sits there keeping them alive. Um, you know, Jimmy just redrawing that whole hand. Uh, interesting that he chose to bench the Orangaroo. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, right? He's never going to attack with it. Right. I mean, it's, he's not going to deck out. Like, it's just another thing that is there. Third card. Get to see all three of them now. Joe, just... Man, it's so was an secret. energy. Always so secret. There was a Guzma. I feel like he would have played it by now. Yeah, Karina the... can't use the item, unfortunately. Man, Joe's I didn't see. I don't see the fighting in his deck. It's not in there. Yeah, I don't see it either. Joe pushing up that Lele may be the... Oh. <laughs> I mean, he does have that counter catcher to slow him down, to show Jimmy down just a little bit. Well, can't play it. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Oh, man, I got all excited. Uh, and that's game. Jimmy that's takes game wrote. one. Jimmy took takes wow. the game. That promotion was so crucial. Wow. Joe Sanchez. I mean, did you think he knew that that basic fighting was not in his deck? Uh, I'm not really sure. You know, he took a lot of thought before that promotion. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd be curious to hear what he's thinking yep. on that one. Um, but he's played this deck a lot. He's played this matchup a lot. I'm sure, you know, he has a good reason. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Man, oh man. So, so we're sitting for game two. That, that game took well over half the time. 42 uh, minutes. Yeah, so... <laughs> uh, <clears throat> and I believe it's still... Um, if four prizes have been taken, right? The yes. game counts? Yes, yes. yes. Four prizes mm -hmm. have to be taken for the game to count. Um, yep. So Joe needs to take four. <laughs> yeah. I mean, 30 minutes, 33 minutes is probably enough time for, for Joe to get a game in if, if everything yeah. rolls out fine. I mean, you know, it could be a bit of a sticky game, but yeah. even if he does win, then that's yeah. going to push him to go game three. Think about how, like, game three would be. It would so short. Drown does not like, fare well in a... In a no, you're especially... you got to be feeling good. Yeah, absolutely. Man. You can waking punch, like, a Wobbuffet until you win. Yep, 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 yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you know, because cause Joe is, I mean, he plays stuff like Counter Catcher, right? Like, he expects to go behind a little bit, mm -hmm. and then the Primal Ground is supposed to come roaring back in. Absolutely. Right? So, man, that's, what a wild series. <laughs> I mean, that just goes to show, I mean, Jimmy just looking for every single out he could. Yeah, and played it super smart. Absolutely. So, both of them shuffled up. I mean, we, we see Jimmy really, uh, really making sure his deck is sufficiently randomized. Absolutely. A lot of shuffling going on. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. So, all right, cutting, making sure Joe's deck is sufficiently randomized. Of course, of course. Absolutely. So, uh, jo Joe, you know, lets Jimmy know, I I'm, I'm going first. So yeah. You know, just, just in case there is any doubt. Surprise. Right, 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 right. right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I always just choose to go first every single time. I don't even hesitate. Even when, to, even when it's night march mirror, you know. But yesterday it was actually pretty funny. I was playing Trevenant. My opponent was also playing Trevenant. And then I lost game one, and I was like, wait a minute. Do I want to go first? I'm not sure. But, uh, yes, I did decide to go first. And we got a couple starts. Uh, Seismitoad start here for Jimmy. And Joe's got a really fast uh, Focus Sash and Strong Energy onto the Regirock. So looks like he's looking to get in there real fast on Jimmy and punish. Alright, so the energy, the sash, just like you said, shuffling up, uh, playing the end. I mean, definitely not Joe's preferred turn one supporter. Absolutely not. I mean, you know. Yeah, we, Karina's so good. Karina. <laughs> yep. I mean, it, it's pretty rare that it even wants to play anything else besides a, a Karina, right? Mm -hmm. Um... Oh, a lot of shuffling by Jimmy with that N. <laughs> I mean, he's just really making sure that everything is, is sufficiently yeah, yeah. randomized, right? Of course. Okay, that's good. I don't know if uh took this long in game one, or maybe I'm just thinking about the time. But let's see what Joe got. He's going to get an Ultra Ball, so he is going to get a Groudon down, which is nice. 
Yeah, I mean... Definitely wants to get that turn to Primal out. You know, getting the Primal out as fast as possible. That's the name of the game. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, the reason that you want to play the Car the Karina turn one, I mean, it's the same reason that a lot of these Zorak decks want to play Bridget turn one. It gets absolutely. all, all their, their, gets their stuff out. So mm -hmm. it was unfortunate that Joe had to play that in on the first turn, but was still able to get the ground on. So, uh, yeah. you know... Uh, two VS Seekers in the discard for Joe. Oh man. Gonna get those two ends back and then a nice tropical beach for about four or five, I think. I mean, definitely, you know, I mean, play the end, but troops some pretty good cards off that end. So yeah, for sure. Overall, a, a very solid turn one. Yeah, from and let's, uh, Joe let's check out what Jimmy can do with his first turn. Uh, last first turn, he had a pretty nice one. Got to Bridget, put on three Zeruas. Um,. I know he's probably looking for something similar here. This time he'll be able to use those Zoraks right away. No Wobbuffet in the active for Joe. So I Jimmy's mean, having a hard time here thinking about what he wants to do with this battle compressor. So I mean, he's just taking a look at it, making sure his eggs are not there, or making sure his eggs are there. He wants to get that Tortuga in the discard, and I mean, it's just uh, just a lot of things there that. You know, he wants to see what he's discarded, you know? Gotta yeah. make sure mm -hmm. that uh, he's getting the right stuff out of there. Alright, so Jimmy taking some peeks. He's getting the Sycamore, getting the egg, taking a look for that final card, the Tortuga. Checking out his prize cards. Tell me a little about this Tortuga. So, <laughs> it's, it's actually kind of funny. So, the Tortuga, I mean, as I'm sure you've seen, when it's in the discard, it can put itself on the bottom of your deck. So, what they'll, what it'll do is, even though you have zero cards in your deck, you can trade. Because Absolutely. You, you can, because the, 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 the way it's worded is you discard a card, and then you can draw. So, yep. so, so, so like, mm -hmm. the effect is discarding a card. Yeah, and not, then the discar up, not both. Yes, yes. But it, one, one, then, then the other. Yep, 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 mm -hmm. yep. So, and then draw all their cards. Uh, trade with Tortuga, mm -hmm. and then just put it back at the end of the turn. Yep, and it, it's pretty funny actually. Like Tortuga is not the only fossil that does that. There's right. an Arkan and a Lily, and all of the, the the people who played this, they all played different fossils, right? Yeah. yeah so they all played 59 of the same 60. But yeah. I know that uh, Joey Rudiger played the Arkan. Right. Pendarvis has got the uh, <laughs> the Tortuga here. I think Gedimer played the Lily, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so just like a little silly thing. I'm sure they coordinated with each other on that. Like we all need to play the different ones. <laughs> This is not silly, Travis. It is a little silly. Jimmy made the correct call. He is in top four. He's looking to get in the finals. He made it. His <laughs> okay. his fossil made it further than all the rest. He has the superior. Tortuga is OP. All right, Ben. Convince me which fossil is the best and why. Tortuga, Tortuga why? Tortuga, because that's the only one I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> The honesty, you got to appreciate that, if nothing else, right? <laughs> uh, uh, second, uh, Seismator done here for Jimmy. No, uh, there's a Zerua. Mm. Uh, that's what I was about to say. At least he got the one, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trade is pretty good. You kind of want to do that as much as you can. Uh, and you're taking a look. He didn't get the DC. He only got one Zerua. Not the best start from Jimmy. Um, but, you know living so yeah no definitely not uh karina here i can probably imagine he's gonna get that primal grout oh yeah um, immediately making sure it does not get goose mud you absolutely know? and he's got an energy card i'm interested to see where he puts it because he's got one already on that reggie rock maybe he wants to start attacking with that first all right so he gets that professor's letter did we see... He oh. has one in his hand puts already. Puts it in the hand. Puts it in the hand. Oh, yeah. maybe he's just going to sit on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Going to go ahead and energy, hard charm, and then probably just uh, mega evolve. Whoa. Whoa. Why was he... What's uh? Why do you think Joe's doing the retreat here? Oh, the escape rope to just... Hmm. Interesting. Why do you... I mean, maybe just getting items out of the deck. Yeah. You think? Uh, not some... Oh, he's going to go for the energy here. I mean, get items out of the deck again. Yeah. Same thing, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a one-for-one. One. He doesn't increase the hand size. doesn't decrease the yeah, hand size. Yeah, I mean, he basically knows that Quicken Punch is coming. Yep. So, 
I mean, you know, giving Jimmy a little bit of information, but, you know, you do what you got to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guarantees the energy for next mm -hmm. turn. Grabs or just the one energy. Yep. Smart. Yep. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I like the idea of holding on to it, but, you know, when you can't actually play it because of Quaking Punch, uh, smart to go ahead and use it. One trade here for Jimmy. And let's see what he has. Maybe he'll have a similar issue to game one where he can't draw a uh, double colorless. That would be very painful. Oh, yeah. Would not be very fun, but it, at least Jimmy can use trade now. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I mean, you know, that Wobbuffet didn't start off in the active, not shutting Jimmy down out of the gate. I mean, you know, that was kind of depressed, you know, upsetting for Jimmy. For sure. You know, he's just sitting there with those three Zorbs in play. Like, as we said, trying to turn that Sycamore from seven into 13. But yeah. <laughs> that Wobbide barricade, mm -hmm. you know, slowing him down. A little relief for Joe, though, that there's only one trader in play. So, trader. <laughs> I hardly know her. Oh, there it is. Fully jokes. We're the we're the, we're the, we're the fun crew, you know. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. So, Jimmy snagging that second Zerua, uh, throwing that bad boy down. Ready to kind of get all those trades up. Uh, oh, there we oh, go. Two of them. There's the DCE. And the DCE. Jimmy partying this turn. Let's see what else he plays. Hasn't played supporter yet. Gets that skull yep. grunt. Yep. Get that energy. So That's West. a real good turn for Jimmy. Yeah, it is. He got all that stuff without having to play a supporter That's and got to use the one he wanted mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. get rid of that energy. That's such a good hand. Yeah. I mean, th so did Joe, Joe didn't play an end. No, no, no. Joe played a Karina last turn. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he Jimmy played Skull. So, so did Jimmy must have traded into some of that. Top deck then traded into some of that stuff then, huh? Um. Yeah. Hmm. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. So oh, yeah. See, see Jimmy making sure that uh, Joe's sufficiently randomized. Yep. Uh, um, shuffling, drawing those six. Seeing what he's working with here. Taking a peek. It hurts not having that, uh, that, that one more energy in the deck. But mm -hmm. he does draw one, gets the psychic. Yep, 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 yep. Absolutely. <clears throat> so three energies on the field and one in the discard for Joe. Jimmy's looking to hunt down some more of them, I imagine. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, Jimmy's trying to get as many of those yeah. as he can. So go ahead and get Skull Grunt and uh, Professor Sycamore here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just gonna keep that trainer lock going. Gets another Zorark down. Uh, now if Joe uh, draws some cards or uses Tropical Beach or something at the end of his turn, uh, Jimmy have a chance to snipe some more energy cards out of the hand. And just a Quaking Punch. It's a, just a clean 40. I mean, that that Fury Belt is going to make the Wobbuffet go down one turn earlier than right. it would without. So mm -hmm. a little bit of a, you know, the, the, the damage matters there. Uh, I mean, Absolutely. We, we see Jimmy, He, I mean, maybe he just hasn't drawn the parallel. Maybe it's prized. Right. But not really going for the reduced damage um, path that we, we've seen him take a while. Right. Mm -hmm. And you know, sometimes uh, it just doesn't work out. And that's not the strategy you have, but we saw Jimmy. He can win even without keeping that lock on he forever. He took all six prizes yep. in that game. Like, mm -hmm. very, very impressive. That's not how I usually see it win. Yep, yep. And and, and never took down the primal Groudon. Yeah. Took six took six mm -hmm. prizes without actually KOing that primal Groudon. Yep. Wow. What a way to win. Really, I mean that was that was a, a oh, crazy game. Third energy on the primal Groudon, just what Joe was looking for. Mm-hmm. One thing about that Wobbuffet, though, might be annoying for Jimmy. You know, maybe he does want to get it knocked out a little quicker. Mm -hmm. More tr gets his trades back online. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's I guess that could be part of it, right? Like, sticking yeah. to Wobbuffet could be cool, but, I mean, both decks are kind of slow. I mean, Absolutely. J Jimmy is able to, to capitalize on the lock when he's able to, like, chain the handiwork. It's the handiwork that you have to chain to make, to make it matter, right? Oh, yeah. But, because it's a Wobbuffet that is active specifically, it makes, um, you know, Jimmy's life much more difficult by, um, you know, yeah. doing all that. So, Jimmy gets a uh, second energy in the discard mm -hmm. here. Uh, no more in the hand for Joe. That's a good snipe by him. Okay. Um, I thought, okay, maybe not. I, uh, I I'm guess I'm, I'm going out. I thought Jimmy played an end. That must have been last turn, right? Um, oh, is, did, did Joe at, J Joe attach an energy? Not on the turn he just passed, but the turn before that, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so he must have just had two. Well, then. Jimmy, Jimmy like Lusa means for Skull Grunt. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, oh, so it was over two turns. Yeah. I mean, she's, all these turns is blurring together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Mm -hmm. um, then Joe uh, did happen to draw two energy cards. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Got to play one. Got one sniped, unfortunately. So Joe's down two energy cards from those skull grunts. Jimmy. I mean, yep. one at a time. I mean, it can get up to two, but yep. as long as he gets one, I mean. Yeah. Two, uh, two is the dream, the right? Two, the two is a really important number. With nine energy in Joe's deck, you get two. That's seven. That's that's not two <laughs> Groudons, you know. Nope, that is yeah, you're right. Yeah, that, that is. And there's already one on this Reggie Rock as well, so Joe might have to resort to using that at some point. So I mean, let's see. We've got one, two, three, four there. Yeah. Two in the discard. That's five, six. Joe's got three energy left. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Man, that's. Do you see a Lysander up on the Zerua? Ooh. Okay. Looks like he might be taking a. It's a one energy attack, right? Yeah. Taken. Oh, oh, and just just using a. Oh man, what's that attack called? Landmaker. It's something. I think I think it's Landmaker. Yeah. Um, Reggie Rock's attack. It lets you search your discard pile for up to two Stadium cards and put them right into your hand. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Card. Yeah. yeah. Um, we know with that Primal Groudon, Stadiums are very important to do the extra damage. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's got Reggie Rock to get an attack to get them back. He's got two Lucimines to get them yeah. back. Plays four of them. You know. Mm -hmm. Joe's no stranger to trying to keep a stadium in play. Absolutely. So, let's see. Jimmy, uh, I mean, Jimmy, I mean, I guess Jimmy could play a Guzma, right? Like, oh, absolutely. Well, yeah. I mean, he could play it, but it doesn't bring the Primal Groudon up, but it does move the Zerua to the back. Right. Which is... Mm, well, I don't know. I, I, is it like an if-then thing? Uh, yeah. It, it's like only if you move... It's a no, little, no, no, it's a little tricky, though, because the card does get used. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, no. So, so I, I think that it would move because, so, the reason that you can't play Guzman when your opponent doesn't have a bench is because there has to be a target. Right. But you can you can play an Enhanced Tamer on that Primal Groudon. It just fails and gets discarded. Right. So, I, I think that that's, I mean, because y you can still use it. Like, you're allowed to right. use it. Right. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. But, yeah. but, but you're. Hmm. Well, I, I. No, it doesn't get shut off. It just fails. Like, like, like you can you can use an enhanced hammer on something like an Omega Berry. It just goes to the discard. Yeah, no, that's what I'm hmm. Uh, well, I guess uh. if Jimmy doesn't play a Guzma, we won't. You know, we don't yeah. have to find out. Uh, he does have a float stone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got it. Got it. Okay. Does have a float stone, so he's gonna get out of the active. Yep. Yep. Alright, uh, so you know he's moving. You don't, don't have to yeah. play that Guzma. <laughs> And then he's going to Lele here to get the supporter he thinks he needs, Gladian. Mm -hmm. So, something in there Jimmy wants. It's either something in there Jimmy wants or Jimmy just, just doesn't have anything else to do this turn. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely one of those two. Um, but, you know, we went from a Zerua in the active, made it a Zork, and now it has free retreat. So, yeah. that, that Guzma not uh, slowing Jimmy down at all. Nope. Uh, got three trades as well coming up here. He's good stuff. And see Jimmy taking a look uh, what's in there, kind of peeking at all these good cards, yeah. throwing the Gladian in there. Not in the discard. Not <laughs> in the discard. That one always confuses <laughs> me. My opponent will play Gladian, and I'm like, and then I'll look at their discard, I'm like, where's the Gladian? Yeah. I'm like, wait a minute, that's not how it works. That's in the prizes, got <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. No VSD ring for Gladian after you use it. Can't chain that bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, none, none, none of that's funny business. Put um, those prizes back down. See, th I think that this is always something funny with Gladian. You know, you offer your opponent the cut of your prizes, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, cut like s four or five cards. Yep, like. yep, yep, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is. Retreating back, taking that Quaking Punch. Uh, we got the Judge up there fixing them. You know, Jimmy just kind of threw them all down up there. Yeah. Uh, making them look like their prizes again, right? So, let's see what we're working with. Just the Quaking Punch. Good stuff. Joe drawing. We know he's got that beach again. Uh, I think that that's a Karina in Joe's hand. It's got a Wobbuffet, so yeah. that's helpful. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Able to leave something else in the active for a mm -hmm. little while. Shut off trade for yep. a few turns, yep. 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 at least. Yep. I mean, Jimmy does have a decent-sized hand already, but yeah. now it's not getting any bigger. Right. Yep. And that's that's uh, good news for for Joe. So see, I wonder... Mm -hmm. Let's have a little fun here. I wonder if you have to present your prize cards for a cut after you shuffle them. I, I, 
I'm sure you have to. Doesn't right? say it on the card. It doesn't. Yeah. Would they put that in the rule book? Would I they know to put that in the rule book? It's I'm the only thing like that, you know. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. It, it, it's not you like just, you put them down. Your opponent's like, can I cut that? You're like, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah, but because, because it is the first kind of search your prizes thing that isn't meant to be randomized after. I mean, I guess Beast Ball yeah. is very similar. Is right? this this is like one of the only things where you, you know, shuffle something that isn't your deck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, something like Town Map just flipped them all over. Yeah. Even El Azelf, way back in the day, mm -hmm. you got to put them out down in whatever order you wanted. So yeah. you like got to know what what, what they were. Um, but Beast Ball and this Gladian card, both, yeah. I'd say shuffle. Yeah. You know? you, you, they, don't, they don't want you knowing what uh, what mm -hmm. order they're in. You just get to know what's in there. Yeah. Almost a fatal mistake by Jimmy there. Uh, went to trade, picked up the two cards, but uh, they, they luckily got yeah. got that fixed. So nothing Stopped bad just happened. In, just in time. We have a real game here. Yep, that's good. And, uh, and that's the kind of penalty that could really, uh, you know, Joe could end up sneaking away a game, this game too because of something like that. Yeah, you like know. time is a big factor here. There's 14 and a half minutes left. Mm. So if he has to take two less prizes, that's that's potentially like a, a few turns. Mm -mm. Uh, like a, a lot more time that Joe has uh, possibly for a game three. But we're going to get an end here to six. Uh, Jimmy end to five actually. I feel like you don't see that <laughs> very often. I mean, man, th th I mean, what? What did we say? This game started at 33 minutes? Yeah. It's been 20 minutes, and an N is played, and it's 6 five. One prize, yep. One prize is mm -hmm. taken. Man. Probably like four or five, six turns already. Oh, yeah, something, something like that. Man, One, I, two, three, four, five, six. That just really seven shows turns. how reliant this primal crowd on deck is on its items. You yeah, know? absolutely. Just slow down. Slow it down slows so it to much. a halt. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. So. Which will basically stop anything from winning. Right, 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 um, right. And when you're when you're playing so many one ofs of those items, you know it shuts off a lot of your deck. It does. I mean, it, just looking here, we got what four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We we got about sixteen to eighteen items here. Yeah. Um, so it's about a quarter of his deck. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I, I guess that it helps us understand why on those first couple of turns he's retreating, burning the escape rope, playing the, you know, he's, he's just Absolutely. like, he's like, I gotta get all these out of here because they were just in my way last time, you know? And w without something like Juniper or Sycamore, he can't just like dump a whole handful of garbage and, and, and dig. Absolutely. Uh, you know, can't, you know, he's only got one Ultra Ball. It's the only thing that discards cards in the whole deck is the one Ultra Ball. So, yeah. You know, is able to really hang on to those resources, but that can be hit or miss. Uh-huh. See what kind of shenanigans Jimmy gets up to this turn. Mm -hmm. You know, he's wanting to be more disruptive, potentially get some more energies out of Joe's deck. Yep. Um, and there's, like we talked about, I think there's just three energy cards left for Joe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So any that Jimmy can get is so huge. Mm -hmm. And I mean, like, Joe has a decent size deck still, and that's yeah. not a lot of energy, mm -hmm. right? So... You can definitely see a world where Joe struggles to find that last one a little bit longer. Absolutely. Um, but uh, I'd say, I mean, he's got about two turns to find it. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Speak of the devil, you know. Yep. That's that's twice now. <laughs> yes, it is. I mean, it's like so a caster blessing <laughs> sort of a caster curse. Uh, we say it, and it happens, you know. Yeah. That's something that always happens to me, uh, just waiting for something, and it's not <laughs> happening. And it, as soon as I complain... Man, you know, why isn't this happening yet? Makes right, me fine, makes right. me look impatient. I complain, <laughs> and then it happens immediately. Just, man, if I wait in three more I'm seconds, the jerk. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. right, right. Um, Lucimine here for Joe. Uh, it's got those four energy on the ground. And he's ready to roll as soon as he can. Just waiting for um, Pandora to knock out this Wobbuffet for him. Yeah. Um, but Joe, uh, I mean, I did not. So he played a Lucimine. Um, there were Tropical Beaches in the discard, so he got at least one. I don't think there were two. I think he got a Tropical Beach and a Supporter. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but I mean, he's got one in the hand now, right? So he's he's just he's ready to come up. He's like, "Come on, Pandarus, knock me out. Let's let's get let's get this let's get the fun going," you know? Because Joe is also definitely in a in a spot where this Groudon could could do some work. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Honestly, the the more I think about last game, I mean, Joe took that first hundred damage, 
and then immediately scramble switched back off to the to the buzzwool for for the knockout, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm, I don't remember exactly everything in his hand, but something we were talking about is how the heck is Jimmy gonna two shot this? Right. You know, mm -hmm. maybe Joe should have just he's like, come on, do it. What do you what do you got, punk? Like dare <laughs> him to hit that 140, yeah. 160 because of the hard charm. Right. And, and and as we know, because there's no choice ban, there's actually no way that he hits 160. Yeah. I, I guess I'm well. I think he had two DCs on Lele, so if there's like one, two, three, four, eight. That's is one sixty. That is one forty exactly. Yeah, he okay. had the the perfect amount. Yep. Like, but you do need one energy on a lele mm -hmm. and then two energy on a second lele. And, and and so there were there's lele DC, lele DC, and a toad DC. So he, maybe Jimmy only had one left, but it's the Sorak deck. He's drawing. Right. You know, he, the Arkin is the yeah. last. The Tortuga is the last card in his deck. He's sitting on it all. So yeah. He's got, he's got a way to get him back. Probably has yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So makes sense. Um. Wobbuffet is down. Wait, wait, was that knocked out? Why, he put it on his bench. What's he doing? Uh. He, he moved the Wobbuffet to his bench, right? He took the damage off of it. And is it in his discard, or did he play out of his hand? Am I a goon? Did I miss something? I've been known to be goon. I was, looking at, I was looking at a list when it happened. Oh, no. I'm not sure. Okay. It just, uh, the glare on the discard is what's making it difficult. I mean, yeah. there, there are judges up there. I'm sure that they would have noticed yeah. something like that. Um, but uh, honestly, if I'm... Ooh, Joe, smart. I like this play. Yep. He he, light, uh, Guzma's up that Lele. Knowing, gets rid that, of it. knowing that that's what yeah. hits for a lot of damage. Uh-huh. Honestly... That, like, then he, Jimmy has no way to two-shot. Yep. Absolutely none. Because cause now there's not a Lele just sitting there with a DC mm -hmm. that can then take the second one to, yep. to come in, right? Well, Joe's down to four prizes. Nine minutes left. There's a there's a good chance he gets this one. There Especially is. with plus three. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. I know he's probably going to want to get him all four here in the next couple minutes, yep. hopefully. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he definitely wants that extra time for game three. Yep. Something that makes me a little, you know, makes me wonder, mm -hmm. why do you think Joe benched the Wobbuffet? I mean... It's got two retreat. If it gets brought up with Quaking Punch, I mean, yeah, if, I'm if, not Jimmy, really sure. if he has that combo, you can kind of see a, a mm -hmm. world where he's toss for 11, yeah. five turns. You know, Absolutely. Just punching, 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 mm -hmm. and stuff. Especially if he gets the parallel out. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Um, so I'm not sure. Uh, I could see a situation where um, you might bring up the Wob Fed or something and then play N, because mm -hmm. that would put Jimmy down to four. Yep. Um, and no trades, so. And, and Jimmy is going to bring up the wild There's effect. the quaking punch. I mean, he, he benched it, and yeah, it's getting it's getting whooped right now. This is what Jimmy wants to do: use as much time as possible. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He we, he needs to keep Joe from taking two more prizes. Yep. Yep. So it could be a tall order. <laughs> um, but yeah. I mean, he's he's going to do end, his best. I, I believe Joe would get there, mm -hmm. but does he have Joe's, the time? Look, look how fast he's going through that hand. I mean, he played a Lysander last turn. It makes you think that, oh, just a Stevens resolve. Yeah. But good stuff to draw. Yep. So. Oh, it looks like he grabbed an <laughs> energy. He did not. He moved so fast. Like, yeah, he, he knew exactly what he was getting mm -hmm. out of his deck. Yep. Yeah. And he uh, knows that time is time is low. Oh, he, yeah. he wants to finish this. He needs those last two prizes and is very aware of it. Yep. <sighs> So if you're Jimmy, you're like, all right, I gotta end this. I gotta end this fool again. You know, I can't, I can't let this fly. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But Jimmy only gets four off that though. Mm -hmm. No trades. There. Yep. That's true. So. That's true. Wabafet, good and bad for both these players. Oh in yeah. A, in I, a way. Yep. I mean, it just it just slows the whole game down on on all sides. You know, yeah. it's got good good aspects. It's got bad aspects. But it is mm -hmm. what it is. You know, the game is is slower yeah. because that Wabafet is hanging out up there. You know. Slower. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Uh, all right, Jimmy. Ooh, Ooh Parallel it, City. That's a parallel we were talking about. I mean, yep. he's going to, now that there's 40 on that, it's going to take 20. You know, it's got 70 HP. That's four it attacks. four turns to knock out, yeah, instead and of just the. The two. That yeah, the two. Yep. So, I mean, I, and if Jimmy's really looking to cement the I'm going to go slow game plan. He's maybe a field blower. Maybe draw the blower and gets rid of his own yeah. fury belt, you mm -hmm. know. He says, nah, I don't need it anymore. Yep. It did its job. <laughs> but they are going to. Both go down to four. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and no trades, as as you yep. said earlier. Mm -hmm. So Joe's got, gosh, four energy on that ground. On. Uh oh, uh oh. Pausing the, game. pausing the game, guys. All right. Uh, so 
What's up? What's up? Yeah. I, I saw a purple card like in the discard. That's kind of look. Uh, there is a, pr a, a wob right there in the discard. Oh. Oh man. I, like I, I remember saying that, but I saw the wob on top of the discard, so yeah. I was like, oh, that must have been the one. So the.